This is a Remington 700 uh, in 243 that I bought probably 15 years ago. Um, and it's been a great little rifle. I've had it in different stocks. But the thing that's always bothered me, uh, not bothered me, but that, that I learned is that this pencil barrel is awesome to make a lightweight rifle um, that you would go hunting with. But since I don't hunt and I only go to the range, this skinny barrel uh, heats up and then I get vertical stringing. So what I'm going to do is tear this down um, and then install a Criterion barrel um, in 6.5 Creedmoor uh, with the Northland shooting supply remage nut system um, and then drop it in a different chassis and see how that goes. When I got the uh, package from James at Northland Shooting Supply, I was actually pretty surprised that, you know, I guess I shouldn't have been surprised. This is an MTU barrel profile, 26 inches. And so I was, you know, it's pretty heavy. So uh, I'm actually going to weigh the rifle and then weigh the barrel I'm replacing it with. So let's see here. The rifle weighs seven pounds, five five ounces with a rail but no optic um oh this is by the way a uh egw 20 moa rail on there okay just this new barrel alone uh mtu profile 26 inch 65 creedmoor weighs five pounds five ounces so uh, once I rebarrel this guy, put it in a different, instead of this stock, put it in a chassis, uh, it's going to be pretty hefty. So, uh, we'll see how that goes, um, but now it's on to disassembly. Okay, so I've got a Wheeler Engineering barrel vise, and the thing that I noticed is... These nuts are gigantic. That's right, I did say it. These nuts are gigantic. Um, so my adjustable wrench couldn't even get on there, so I had to go to uh, my bigger wrench, which is a pipe wrench. Um, the nut size is inch and a half. Um, and then I'm just going to torque this down just a little bit, not too much, because I don't want to damage the barrel, even though it's the one coming off. Um, and then I'll use the NSS action wrench to remove uh, the action. So as I was setting up to mount the uh, Northland Shooting Supply uh, action wrench, I realized I needed to flip the, uh, the uh, whole barrel in action so it's trigger up so that you can put... Uh, this Allen screw in. James's instructions say to uh, torque these to these bolts to 15, uh, no more than 15 foot pounds. So I actually wrote 15 on um, on the bolt heads, and then I'm just using my torque wrench to torque it to the right um, right amount. And now. We're going to see how easy or difficult this is to unscrew. If it ends up being super difficult to unscrew, I may just pause the video and, and fight with it. Um, so I've got this torque down, this torque down, and then there's a long uh, reaction rod, that, or torque, you know, basically a che like a cheater bar that comes with it. And if the barrel's not super stuck, I should be able to twist it off, but if the barrel is super stuck, then I may have to, uh, you know, just add a little heat here. I have heard that factory barrels on factory Remington actions, especially the really old ones, can be super difficult to get off and I have found that I tried heat, 
I've tried all kinds of things to get this bad Bama Jamma loose. Um, and finally, I've just chucked it up in my lathe. Um, I know that this is not an ideal work holding, um, but I'm spinning it really slow. And the trick that I, that I found, at least I'm going to try, is basically machine off the recoil lug so it takes off pressure from the threads, um, and then try and unscrew it. So we'll see how this works out. As I was turning this down to break the tension off of the um, recoil lug, I looked down in this hole for the scope base and saw down in there, there was a broken off set screw. So the reason it felt like this is welded, I think, is because someone screwed this on, put a shitload of uh, Loctite or something or epoxy and then also sent a set screw down in there. So what I'm doing is I'm drilling the screw out now to see if that can help um, break things loose. Holy smokes, that was quite something. So you can see here I machined down to relieve pressure on the locking lug. And then it was still slipping, so let me loosen this bolt a little. Since the barrel is going to be trashed anyway, I went to my 2x72 grinder, uh, cut some flats on this, so I could mount it rigidly with some parallels stacked up in the barrel vise. And even then, holy smokes, did it take a lot of force before this broke loose. Once it broke loose, it was fine, um, but dang, there was a lot of uh, wrestling going on here in the shop. Now I've got the barrel off, and um, hopefully the receiver isn't damaged with all the force that it took me to, uh, to get this barrel off. Um, but on to the next step. After much wrestling to get the original barrel off, which had a bunch of rust and it was crazy. Also, there was a set screw in there. I now have uh, my barrel to action mounted up to the Criterion uh, barrel with the NSS nut, uh, NSS uh, remage nut and recoil lug. So what I did after I got this off, um, was I cleaned the threads out really well with a wire brush on uh, my Fordham, which is basically like a Dremel. Made sure the threads were clean and in good condition. Dry fitted a couple times. Um, and then put anti-seize on, on the uh, barrel so all the threads would be uh, nice and good. And then I disassembled the bolt so that I could check the go-no-go -no -go gauges. Um, I got these Manson go no gauges from James at Northland Shooting Supply as well. Now, I didn't demonstrate this in uh, any of the build videos, but I did check the go no go gauge. Um, there's lots of videos that show how to use it and, you know, show how to put together one of these barreled actions once everything's apart. So I thought the most interesting piece was di the disassembly. So, you know, you can find other videos out there. But I do want to demonstrate the go-no-go -no -go gauge really quick. This is a Manson go-no-go -ga -go gauge from Northland Shooter Supply. Um, and on the go gauge, the action closes no problem. And then on the no-go gauge, pop it in there, action does not close on it. So, um, oops, let me pop that up. So, no go, go. So that verifies my headspace. Yesterday I actually did take the rifle out and zero it uh, and break in the barrel. So that's why you'll see it's got uh, this Simmons white tail on it. It was the scope that came with the rifle when I bought it 15 years ago from uh, a private party. 
uh, it was already on there. So uh, since I didn't have a chance to mount uh, my new uh, scope and rings, I just used it and it seemed to be okay. Although a 10x, uh, you know, is not not really that that much magnification, but it was good enough for just breaking in the barrel. All right, so here's the completed build. It's quite a transformation from the Remington 700 uh, hunting rifle that it started out as. Uh, let's see here. I've got the Area 419 uh, Hellfire system on it. My uh, Atlas bipod, which moves from rifle to rifle. Uh, Athlon Helos scope with EGW rings and EGW rail. The chassis is an old uh, JP AMCS from probably 10 or more years ago. This one is from the days before, uh, you know, chassis were prevalent. And so it was actually pretty expensive. I got it used, but since I had it, I'm using it. I've also got the Anarchy Penguin grip, which I like uh, quite a bit. I have it on my Ruger Precision rifle. And then on the bolt face, uh, or the bolt lugs, I lapped them while I was doing the assembly. Um, and you can see in there for safety, I've got a chamber flag that, that I made. So anyway, uh, I broke the rifle in yesterday, and uh, it shot pretty well. I'm excited now that I've got the Athlon mounted in the EGW rings uh, to see what it can do now that it's broken in and with better glass on it that I can actually see. Um, that Simmons Whitetail was probably an okay scope, or is probably an okay scope, but I'm really excited about the Athlon glass. It's not super high-end, I only paid $350 from Midway, but um, I have an Athlon Argos on my Ruger Precision rifle and that seems to do okay for me. So within my budget, I felt like it was a good choice. So can't wait to get out and shoot this guy.